Hi and welcome to our demo. Today we are going to look at how to add a user to Google Analytics. This training is part of the series titled Dallas SEO by Cash, being brought to you by datatechnologyllc.com. So let's get going. Uh, who is Cash really? Well, he is currently from Dallas, Texas. I am originally from Pakistan. Uh, my company has uh, had scores of clients in North Texas. Uh, our group's primary focus is uh, search engine optimization for small businesses and our areas of expertise include many different uh, items including internet marketing, uh, Google AdWords, Google Analytics, YouTube marketing and social media as well. Um, if you want to know more please visit our website at datatechnologyllc.com. Um, today really we are going to focus on uh, Google Analytics access I get uh, this question asked a lot um, on my blog and my classes uh, you know typical situation is you have a website uh, let's say you hire an internet marketing company and they need to access your site um, how do you give them access well it's actually fairly straightforward but I figured make a quick demo and walk you through the steps so for today's um, tutorial we are going to be looking at uh, one of my websites which is SQL server 2012 training tutorial.com I believe I do have this website up and running here um, it's really a website that has video training on uh, database related topics so um, that's that now I would like to add uh, the following user to this uh, website I mean to the Google Analytics of this website so so let me just just copy this uh, so that I have this uh, handy now before I get to that though let me let me talk a little bit about the hierarchy of accounts in Google Analytics GA by the way is not Georgia it's Google Analytics just so you're clear uh, anyway so in Google Analytics there are really three different items one is called an account the other one is called a property and the other the third one is called a view so account is really something um, let's say when you you know you may have multiple websites and you may want to control all of them under one account so that's what you do you set up an account and you can really call it whatever you want the important one is going to be property which think of a property as a website property or a blog um, and that's the level that we will be working with today and finally <clears throat> excuse me uh, when you talk about a view uh, it's really think of it as a subsection on a website you may have another subdomain or you may be trying to track uh, you know users at a certain level so understand the difference between uh, these items now as for as type of access within Google Analytics there's really four levels one is uh, how to manage users this is where you can add and delete users to your Google Analytics the next one is actually gonna be the super user which is going to be the edit this really controls the admin level functions um, except for the uh, management of users then you have collaborate which means you can work on multiple reports or a dashboard together and then the last one which is the one we are going to work on today which is to really read and analyze the information within Google Analytics so uh, so let's uh, let's jump into the demo I mean let me this is what I'm going to follow uh, I'm going to review the website which I already did I'm going to look at Google Analytics uh, from an owner view and then I'm also going to look at Google Analytics from a subscriber view just to make sure that there is uh, nothing there then I will give access to the subscriber and uh, what that does is it uh, sends you an email so you have to go to your email and uh, I guess activate the subscription and then finally I will go uh, we will go and look at Google Analytics again and make sure that we are able to uh, pull up the information so fairly straightforward so let's uh, let's switch to um, Firefox like I said this is my website I already have Google Analytics up and running as you can see I'm logged in as, as my owner account which is cash money uh, I wasn't kidding about cash so cash money 99 at gmail Dot com and I have multiple accounts in here so th these are the ones that I was telling you about that we are at the account level so notice that for my SQL account you know I have one two three and four properties and you will notice that they all have a unique um, UA number which is basically the unique number for uh, your Google Analytics today we are going to be looking at the SQL Server 2012 okay so let me just uh, uh, let me look at the audience report uh, for 
uh, you know, beginning since beginning of this year, if you, if I look at that, I've had close to 2,000 sessions, uh, quite a few new visitors, some returning visitors. So this is what I have. But let me let me go ahead and open up another uh, Google Analytics here. Uh, let me see if I can type this right. Um, and this for this one, I'm actually going to log in as our subscriber. Um, and let me try this. It's probably going to open up the existing account and uh, my machine is about to die. I hope not. Um, I think, yeah, it's opening up the regular. So let me do this. I'm actually going to say um, add a Google account. And then I'm going to log as this one, which is uh, Buckle. Uh, and then let me just type this in. I just want to verify and make sure that I don't have access to this Google Analytics before we go through our steps. So, um, okay, so, so while that's loading up, uh, you can notice that here, um, let's see, I think I can switch to my accounts here. So let me switch to this account. somehow it wants to go back to the the cash money account actually let me just kill this one okay so I think this is this is fine now I'm here and if you look at my accounts you will notice that I don't have the um, the SQL account I have some other accounts but I don't have this one let me close this one Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and give it access to it. So, so what you need to do is you give the access to the subscriber, okay, and it's not that hard. What I need to do here is I need to go to the owner, which is this one, and I'm going to click on admin. And then uh, remember, I'm not going to give it access at the account level because if I do that, it is going to give access to all of the accounts. I'm actually going to come over here and make sure that I'm looking at SQL Server 2012. Okay, so you have to make sure that one is checked. And then I'm going to uh, basically come down here and click on user management. and I'm going to type in the email or just paste it and then here you can choose which which level do you want you know to assign to the particular user I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and select read and analyze I will check this one which is going to send them an email and I am going to click add now what's gonna happen is they are going to get an email let's go ahead and check my email here And who knows what account it's going to take I think it's it's having some issues because I got multiple accounts on the same machine which um, does work but I think it makes it a little confusing so let me switch to let me switch to my other account and I'm going to say this one Okay, so look, looks like, yeah, 1003, I just got this access. It says you have been granted access to a property. Uh, okay, let's go check. Um, <clears throat> all right, so it says we want to alert you that you've been granted access, read and analyze, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, that, that sounds good. So what we do here is um, all I need to do really is, um, I mean, I can just refresh. I believe you can see that we have one, two, three, four accounts in here. So if I, and I'm logged in as Bachel, so let me refresh this. And this, I believe, should populate the next account. Otherwise, I will have to, I can log log out, log back in, and I think that, that would work as well. Um, 
I don't know if my browser is about to die or something, but it's uh, certainly giving me a little bit of grief here. Okay. All right, so now, yes, yeah, so you'll see that this is new down here where it says SQL accounts. If I expand this one, now I should be able to access the data and let's change the, um, the time frame. I think right now it's pulling up just a month information. If I go back in here, um, select one, 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 apply it. I think we had close to uh, 2,000 users in the first month. Okay. Um, yep, yep, that's good. And as you can see, uh, you know, you have access to everything. You can go to the acquisition report. Uh, we are going to be covering some of these other topics uh, in another video, but this should get you started. Uh, let me just see what else do I have. So we sent the email, we checked at the subscriber level, and everything seems to pull up. So in the end, we just wanted to thank you for this quick video. You can uh, get a hold of us via our YouTube channel or visiting our website or also follow us on Twitter. Uh, thank you very much.